American Government, Part A, Number 1. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. Number 2. What does the Constitution do? It sets up the government, it defines the government, and it protects basic rights of Americans. Number three, the idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. Number four, what is an amendment? You can say that an amendment is a change to the Constitution or an addition to the Constitution. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. Number six. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? So you can say freedom of speech, religion, assembly, press, or petition the government. Number seven, how many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. Number eight, what did the Declaration of Independence do? It announced our independence from Great Britain or you can say, it declared our independence from Great Britain. Or, it said that the United States is free from Great Britain. Number nine. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? There's the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Number 10. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Number 11, what is the economic system in the United States? You can say that we have a capitalist economy or market economy. Number 12, what is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Leaders must obey the law. Government must obey the law. No one is above the law. American Government Part B System of Government Number 13 Name one branch or part of the government. Congress, or the legislative branch. President, or the executive branch. The courts, or the judicial branch. Number 14. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? There is a system of checks and balances, 
and a separation of powers. Number 15. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Number 16. Who makes federal laws? Congress, or you could say the Senate and the House of Representatives. Number 17. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? There's the Senate and the House, or you can say the House of Representatives. Number 18. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. Number 19. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Number 20. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Your answer is will vary on this question. It depends on which state you live in. Number 21. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. Number 22. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. Number 23. Name your U.S. representative. Answers will vary on this question. It depends on where you live. Number 24. Who does a U.S. senator represent all the people of the state. 25. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? The answer is because of the state's population, or you could say they have more people or some states have more people. 26. We elect a president for how many years? Four. 27. In what month do we vote for president? November. 28. What is the name of the President of the United States now? This answer will change depending on the outcome of an election, but right now the President's name is Barack Obama, or you could just say Obama. 29. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Joe Biden, or you could just say Biden. 30. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. 31. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the military? The President. 33. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. 34. Who vetoes bills? 
the president. 35. What does the president's cabinet do? The president's cabinet advises the president. 36. What are two cabinet level positions? For this answer, there are many different cabinet level positions, but I'll, I'll just go through the list here. There's the Secretary of Agriculture, Secretary of Commerce, Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Education, Secretary of Energy, Secretary of Health and Human Services, Secretary of Homeland Security, Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Secretary of the Interior, Secretary of Labor, Secretary of State, Secretary of Transportation, Secretary of the Treasury, Secretary of Veterans Affairs, Attorney General, and Vice President. But for this answer, you only need to uh, name two cabinet level positions. Number 37, what does the judicial branch do? It reviews laws, explains laws, resolves disputes, and decides if a law goes against the Constitution. 38, what is the highest court in the United States? the Supreme Court. 39. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? 9. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. 41. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? So there are four different ones. You just need to say one. To print money. To declare war. To create an army. And to make treaties. 42. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? There are five different answers here, and here they are. You just have to know one. Provide schooling and education. Provide protection, like police protection. Provide safety. Give a driver's license. Approve zoning and land use. 43. Who is the governor of your state now? Your answers will vary. It depends on which state you live in. I live in the state of Minnesota, and the governor in Minnesota is Mark Dayton. 44. What is the capital of your state? Again, the answers will vary. You, you have to find out what the capital is for your state. 45. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. 46. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic. The president, Barack Obama, belongs to the Democratic Party. 47. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? American Government, Part C, Rights and Responsibilities. 
Number 48. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. You don't have to pay a poll tax to vote. Any citizen can vote. A male citizen of any race can vote. So these are four amendments. You only have to remember one of them. Number 49. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? There are two. Serve on a jury or vote in a federal election. Number 50. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election or run for federal office. Number 51. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom to petition the government, freedom of worship, the right to bear arms. You only have to remember two of these rights for the test. Number 52. What do we show loyalty, loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States or the flag? 53. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Give up loyalty to other countries. Defend the Constitution and laws of the United States. Obey the laws of the United States. Serve in the U.S. military if needed. Serve the nation if needed. Be loyal to the United States. Number 54. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. 55. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote, join a political party, help with a campaign, join a civic group, join a community group, give an elected official your opinion on an issue, call senators and representatives, publicly support or oppose an issue or policy, run for office, or write to a newspaper. Number 56. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. When must all men register for the selective service at age 18 or between 18 and 26. شكرًا على المتابعة. راسلونا بملاحظاتكم واقتراحاتكم ولا تنسوا الاشتراك على قناتنا حتى تتواصلوا بجديدنا. 
لكم منا أطيب المنى وموعدنا في استراحة واستفادة جديدة